So welcome back everyone. We are headed into project four. We're gonna look at some more abstract art and this week we're going to focus on a continuous line. So here's some supplies you will need for this project. Paper and a pencil. You can use crayons or pencils markers, even paint. So, choice will be yours. So first you're going to start with your paper and pencil. I'm going to use color sticks. So once you put your paper down, you're going to pick a spot to put your pencil. And once you put it down, you are not going to pick that pencil up. You're going to continue to draw one single line all over the paper. Once you really have enough lines on the paper, you can take the pencil off. Now you're going to move to either a black marker or black pencil. This is going to be to trace the lines you just made. I'm going to use a black thick or as thin as you'd like, and you can even alternate that pattern going from thick line to thin line. You can go straight to marker or black colored pencil and not use your pencil first, but if you do make mistakes, it's going to be a lot harder to fix them. And you'll probably have to get another piece of paper. So to avoid that, you want to start with your pencil and then move to the black color. Twenty minutes later. So as you can see, this step does take a little bit of time, but it is worth it, and you will have less mistakes. Later that same evening. for this project, feel free to use as many colors as you like, or pick one of your color schemes. So I am going to stick with cool colors on this project, and you want to make sure you stay inside those new lines that you've just created. Each line has now created a brand new shape for the color. same colors here that I'm using on my 
pieces are right now. So that the colors really popped out. I did go ahead and do a second project all in marker. So you can see the difference in quality. This one I did more with warm colors. And of course that one with cool colors. And then you can see them side by side. Markers and color stamps. Guys, remember to submit your assignment via Edmodo for full credit on this project. You can also post your artwork in the comments below because I'm sure we would all love to see the finished products. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And always remember to have fun and be creative. 